Welcome back, yonder folks out there in the internet world. And just wherever you are, your home, your car, your truck. A lot of people watch this while they're driving to work. <laughs> that's a horrible idea. That's a horrible idea. Watching it in general is a questionable decision. And but, if you're yeah. doing that right now, just make sure you, you, you leave a comment that you're driving to work right now as you're watching it. We would appreciate that. Don't do that. What's funny is that I feel like I do listen to YouTube videos, but half the fun of watching us is that we're, we're weird looking. We're, we're so definitely you need, you need, you need to see our I, I think listening's fine though. We have, I guess so. we have sultry voice. We're like Kenny G of the vocalist. <sighs> Someone told me that I should do like radio, like any kind of like country, cozy, like, you know, redneck radio ads. I should be. Can we talk for. about what we're supposed to talk about and no. stop this jibber Sorry. jabber now? Sorry. We're talking about Bruce Springsteen <sighs> and ZZ Top and everybody else. <laughs> the hard hitting news. The hard hitting news <laughs> under the sun. <laughs> This is Good Morning America. Regis and Kathy Lee. I am definitely Kathy Lee in this scenario, which is frustrating. Yeah, that's fun. That's true. Anyway, yeah. um, true. sorry, sorry, we're back. So Bruce Springsteen just sold his catalog for five hundred million dollars, which is a whopping amount. It's about the same as Bob Dylan, I believe. Yeah. And ZZ Top just sold their catalog for a underwhelming fifty million. And, uh, yeah, because that that sort of shocked me. That shocked me a little bit. That's not much money. Like, I mean, it, it, it is, is a lot of money, but it, for for when we're talking catalogs, I just thought Z, uh, Z, they're so I mean, iconic to me, right? I know maybe they just don't have the residuals. Obviously, I mean, Bruce Springsteen is Bruce Springsteen, but is Bruce Springsteen ten times greater than ZZ Top? I think part of the part of the issue, right, is what's iconic about ZZ Top is is the image of them, right? Like even people who don't know a single ZZ Top song can picture. The beards and you know the fuzzy guitars and all that stuff. Fuzzy guitars, <laughs> it's kind of great. <laughs> that's funny. Little bell things. God, um, so cool. So maybe you know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe with Springsteen, you're getting maybe more like songwriter. -y well, you have a ton of hits with Springsteen. Like, yeah. This is all for the you know the future sales and monetization of it. I get it. And these companies that buy these, they spread this out over a course of you know years to decades. Sure. Is the idea. And they will try to monetize the heck out of it. It's going to be, you're going to hear Bruce Springsteen songs in every commercial known to man. You're dancing in the dark it's, forever. From you're born to in the eternity. USA, always. You're, you're, um, every song, of, I mean, we can't go down the whole list. There's too many of them. I've seen him, what, three times, I think? Have you I seen do. him live? Nope. He's pretty impressive. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. I can imagine. Um, even if you're not a Bruce Springsteen fan. But I did just watch The Christmas Chronicles with little Stevie, his guitar player. He's in prison, and they play the guitar. I was like, I know this guy. Is, have you ever is, seen that, the movie? is that with, um, who's the lead, lead actor? Uh, Kurt Russell. Yeah, I have not seen and that. Goldie though. Hans in there, too. I hear it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, is I've only seen it seven times this, is it good? this holiday season. It actually is pretty good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the I musical love, number in, in jail. I love Bruce's highlight. band. I mean... It's, it's, yeah, it's like Little Stevie's band, but still, Little whatever. Little Stevie's one of my favorite things ever. Um, and like his Lily Hammer show and all that. It's great. It's from The Sopranos to everything. Wonderful guy. But it, and so it, it's strange. It's like it begs the, the question, like, what, how, do you, how do you get the worth out of it? So you have to put the commercialization into it. Yeah. You have to, um, you have to sell the, I guess you sell further rights of it. I guess, man, I, I just would have thought that some of those, especially like the Eliminator era, like ZZ Top hits were worth more than that, like as a, as a catalog. Well, because let's, let's say you're going to divide that equally amongst the three parties of ZZ Top minus right. their other fees in there. And like you're looking at, you're looking at sub $10 million per, what did Derek say? Like maybe eight, eight million? Yeah, that's what he was saying. But I mean, it could be less than that after taxes and like lawyer fees and transference fees and. It could be. Um, I mean, I could probably scrape by on eight million for, for from here to the end. But I, I think you and I could. But we don't. <laughs> I mean, believe it or not, out there, we don't live the lifestyle of what I hope ZZ Top is living. Well, besides the bass player's not living, but his family is living. Nice. I hope they live That's a different thing. lifestyle than than we do. Like I just finished season three or four of Selling Sunset, a wonderful educational show on Netflix about the top real estate agents in um, Los Angeles. It's pretty much just a show where like really attractive women fight and get more plastic surgery as the seasons right. progress. All right. But um, it, it's horrible, but I still enjoy it for some weird sick reason. I mean, I, yeah, I did try to watch the first episode of season two of The Witcher. But did you like it? I wanted to. How's that not enjoyable? I feel like it should be way more enjoyable. I, know, like, I feel like it's- I couldn't get into it either. I just don't, there's just not very much, yeah, I don't know. 
It's just this missing something. Something, man. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. And um, I feel like I watched that whole first season and still don't really, I just, I You're waiting know. for something. That, yeah. Whereas, like, you know, when I watched The Expanse, that just kept pulling me in further and right. further. And, like, I was like, oh, I'm in. I'm in. It keeps getting worse and worse and better and better. Um, the one season was a little slow, but that's all. Yeah. Um, anyway, it's... <laughs> catalogs, catalogs. No, it's, how, do you get, how do you get it out there? How do you... Well, well it is true. Well, we know how we get it out there from all the commercialization. It's just, it's, I, it is it's just sort of shocking. With the ZZ Top was why we started talking about this. I just thought it would be bigger. Do you think, I mean, it's just hard for me to believe that Springsteen's worth, his catalog is worth 10 times... ZZ Top's catalog. Well, and I think Springsteen's is worth five hundred million dollars. Sure, yes, Easily. we're not I saying think, that. And yeah. I think Bob. I mean, I think you are because you hate Bruce Springsteen. Well, I mean, if there's a choice between Billy and Bruce, <laughs> I just want to cause some controversy. I don't think he hates. I, I mean, but you would hate choose is a Billy. Word. I, yes. It's really- <laughs> like that's a real question. Oh god. I mean, you. you okay. get, he is your style icon, I suppose. Imagine if the, he sold his beard. God, that'd be amazing. If he took it off from the little attachments there yeah. and just like actually gave the, it to really, That'd God be amazing. Like, it's, no, it's just the... In the metaverse, you could have Billy Gibbons' beard. You could like wear it. I mean, that's maybe in the metaverse, they will sell like the, the rights to some of these songs as NFTs. Probably. And like it's the little that you can use in your, your apartment. So if, yeah, you're, true. if you're Elon Musk, you can have like ZZ Tops. I'm still so confused about that whole thing. Um, what those things, what that means, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't true. matter. We'll be dead before it's all completely relevant, Hopefully. So unfortunately. Or just completely. Here's hoping. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. No, it's, it's, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I get it though, because like we're looking at Bob Dylan's the same. Like, it, it, did, did, um, did Fleetwood Max off their stuff too? I feel like they did. Yeah, and I can't remember for how much. I feel like it was 350 or something. I like thought that. it was like around 300. It's a lot of money. money. Yeah. It's um <laughs> more than fifty. We're hoping that we're like missing some of the, the facts. I think ZZ Top gets to hang on to their masters or something. From well, all, all we read was they didn't sell them, which may mean they didn't own them. I don't. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're right. That that might be owned by another publishing house. Right. And, Who knows? Bah. But anyway, we think there should be a petition for ZZ Top to get paid more. <laughs> fifty million is not enough in our minds. I I, I just wanted. To be, I, I think it needs to be a hundred million dollars. Once you have, if you have legs. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you. That's I mean, sharp dressed man sharp legs. Sharp dressed man legs. That's it. It's. I mean, there's just so many. Can you imagine like ones. Led Zeppelin's catalog? No. I feel, is that going to be more than Bruce Springsteen's and Bob Dylan's? I feel like it would be. Or the Beatles catalog now? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, absolutely. It would, ha- catalog, it would have to be. I feel like the Beatles catalog would be like a billion dollars. It would have to be. Right. It, just, it makes have to be. Or like Michael Jackson's catalog. What's that worth? Um, Prince's catalog and you know all of them anyway we just thought it was a strange thing I'd love to hear like people that know better than us <laughs> like why it's so low I mean which is a low bar <laughs> it wouldn't take much help sadly us. sorry help us so much but no it's um, it's just yeah we, we get it you know it is Kinda. the monetization makes sense it just sort of shocked us because we're such ZZ Top fans so we were like it's got to be more than 50 million That's, you have to I, well there's obviously been been videos out there on YouTube about why these artists are selling their catalogs now I get it. I would do it um, too. But yeah, I mean, it, it is interesting that why why they right now they'd all choose to sell because they've all made their money already when like the ma- making money was good. Well, you think Springsteen and ZZ Top, or at least until the COVID stuff, and and I guess now are still doing quite well touring. You yeah, know? Like they're still doing Springsteen's Broadway, so, right. and they, they yeah they can all do that. They they monetized shows. the the record sales already. Right when when monetization was great. Yes. And back in the golden days of like up until like the end of the 90s almost and early 2000s before Napster and the whole thing fell apart and the record label was like, what are we going to do? <laughs> oh, we're going to pay they're, the they're, artist they're, less. Yeah. I mean, it's the obvious choice. <laughs> <laughs> and Screw them. Screw them all. We're going to make deals with all these streaming platforms and pay everybody less and make still a lot of money somehow. how they figure this out? Can't cut their share. They're so good at this. The kinks <laughs> called it. With the money train out of years ago, what was that 1970s song? Was, they, they got you. They figured it out. L- Lola and the Power Man, Eight Man and the Power Man, whatever that record was. Great record if you haven't listened to it by the Kings. One of their best. Go get it. Very Phenomenal. Good. Get it. Listen to it. Put on your Sonos, Spotify, whatever you listen to today. That's all I got. That's enough. That's enough. That was enough. It's enough. All right. Check out the giveaway for the Silver Sky. Check out the podcast. Check out the next great American guitar builder on the website. 
hit like and subscribe if you have not already. Click the bell so you don't miss these things in the future. I think that was the whole list. That's it. We'll see you next time.